All right, it's live right now. It's gonna probably take a second to come up. I just want to see. Um, and hello for everybody that might be watching this live or record. We're testing out a new location for the stream, so trying to get an idea of is this lighting going to work? Is the connection going to work? As we're going off a mobile hotspot out here, so bear with me for a second. And um, you got it up yet, Adam? Should be coming up. It just, it just, it just looks like super bright, but I, I feel like it's like all right, you know. I feel like if I had a better camera, um, this would work better. Oh, the white shirt? Yeah, and the light coming in from the door, right? It's like kind of black. The light coming in from the door, right? Hold on, let me... Um, oh, from over here? Yeah. What about that? I just unscrewed a light bulb. Does that do much? You're turning that on now. I feel like, hold on, there's another very great light in this corner. What is it with that? What is it with that now? Now that that's gone. Is that better? I think it is a lot better. Yeah. Um, I was going to take this up off anyways because we got the um i'm just waiting for it to heat up in here but yeah i want to my, my skin my skin is so pasty now that my skin is illuminated <laughs> all right they're gonna get what they get i'll get another new camera so yeah Um, I'm going to start the stream in a second. Give him a little intro, and I'll see you soon. Yo, also, wait. Just one last thing. Um, you know how you changed the schedule on the website for the stream stuff before? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll go you do that. Yeah, yeah, that'd be clutch. I'm happy face that's coming in, and I'll talk to you later. All right, peace, peace. Hello, happy face, and welcome. I can't. I guess I can't really kneel down. I guess and maybe if I stand back a little bit. Wow, that is blinding. I really don't know how to get rid of this. Happy New Year's, happy faith. Yeah, good to see you, and I'm excited. You know, I'm excited for this new program too. We're mixing it up a little bit here. Um, so for, I wish there was a way to make me um, not so bright. But I don't think that is an option. Wow, that's not good at all. There's really no other way to do this. I'm sorry, Happy Face. I said this a few minutes early um, so I could kind of test things out. I'm just maybe going to see if like a different angle um, of this thing works. So I promise you we will get started right at 12 o'clock. A um, little bit of just technical things. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Hello, Les. Hello, happy face. Happy New Year. Good to see you. We are live right now, and I am um, still setting up a little bit. I started the stream a little bit early because I'm trying out a new location in the garage gym, and I want to see how the like. Look at that lighting. That is awful. I need to figure out a way to make this work. We might go back to being over here. But, um, it's just so bright. Do you guys have any suggestions? I'm not the most tech-savvy person. I can't really put anything up over these windows. Nor do I think that will really help anything. 
<laughs> songs we can see. Yeah, you can see me a little bit. I'm a little uh, ghosty. I just look like a illuminating light. <laughs> Maybe I just got to get some more sun. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe there's nothing to do this. Maybe this has to do with how tasty I am. But, um, all right. You might be able not to make out my facial features, but you're at least going to be able to see the stream. So I'm going to work on this. I am going to play around with a few different things. I just, hold on. I want to unscrew one more thing. Maybe this will help. Yeah, now it's not a little bit darker in here. Maybe that helps, but <laughs> Casper. Yeah, that's a pretty accurate discussion. But anyways, welcome to day one of this. And she says once you get extra vitamin D. <laughs> you might does. I think so. I've been a while. I've been trying to get some sunlight. It's tough out here in New York. Very cold and uh, not a whole lot of sun, to be honest. At least as of lately. It's pretty nice in the summer. But anyways, today starts the mark of a very different program. I know before we kind of really focused on weight loss. We did this body weight exercise program, really trying to make things accessible for everybody so everybody could join along and get a good workout. And, you know, it was great going through this thing. We got all the way up to five days a week. Can't believe that. But um, maybe there's a point I can bring this where, like, at least for me just talking to you guys, where I'm not uh, blinding my face. So maybe we'll, we'll center here so at least you can kind of see me. Maybe that's the key. Maybe I got to be facing this wall. Anyways, we're going we're gonna to stop spinning around. Um, we'll just put this back down. doesn't really work. But... You know, that pro that resource is going to be there forever. You know, that's always going to be on social media, always going to be on our Facebook, on our YouTube, um, for, for all you guys to see. So, you know, we feel really comfortable with that program. We feel like that's a resource people are going to be able to go back and go through if that's something they're interested But, you know, as I kind of mentioned these posts, you know, maybe your goal is to get stronger. Maybe you want to get leaner, more mobile. Um, training for a marathon, who knows? We're going to try to get, break down as many different styles of exercise training as possible in this series. And um, I'm sorry this is all coming for you where you can barely see my face, but I promise you this has come. One of the next big things I really need to work on is getting a new camera because, as you see, laptop quality isn't that great. But so for today's workout, we're still kind of moving in that same thing, doing that high intensity interval. First of the first month, I wanted to make that, you know, transfer into this new program as smooth as possible. So it's going to be some of these same familiar moves, except we're going to be adding a little bit of resistance now. Same thing, we want to keep it accessible. You're not going to need a whole gym. You're not going to need 20 different dumbbells. Give me one set of light to moderate weight, something that's going to be comfortable for you. You can kind of see some of these moves. I mean, if you have, you know, varying different weights that you can use, maybe you might go, you know, a little bit heavier with the squats than you would with the floor press or vice versa. You know, I just want to have options in there. But that's why I say, you know, you really only need one dumbbell. Um, You know, if you're worried about, you know, being able to, you know, use the same way for every exercise, you know, maybe go on the lighter and you're still going to get a great workout. We're going to burn a lot of calories and build some muscle here today. So a little bit different from our regular scheduled program. But, you know, we're going to get a good 30 minute workout. And from now on, these are always going to be Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, two days a week. You know, half hour workouts be starting off. And, you know, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a bad thing. But, you know, I am actually going to be the only one streaming from now on, at least um, for this segment kind of divvied up the duties um adam's actually going to be working on a podcast we're going to be having an episode coming up this week definitely want to stay tuned for that but you know i will be our stream guy seth is going to be um back end a little bit of everything guy adam doing the podcast guy so just kind of varying up um the social media um positions a little bit so i'm sorry if you might um my dumbbells are like 30 pounds each i mean some of these exercises this might be a little tight, you know, same thing. It's a lot of exercises, you know, just hold on to one of the dumbbells. You know, you can modify it that way. Um, and same thing, if you're feeling like the weight is too much, you know, you can still get a great exercise going without weight. A lot of these are still going to be modifiable to do with no resistance. So that's another option there too. But, you know, we'll kind of play it by ear, see how things go. Um, so I won't be here every day. Um, I wish I could be. I wish my schedule would permit that. But you know, right now it's just going to be Tuesdays, Thursdays, 12 o'clock Eastern time. Um, get a good half hour, hour work on your lunch break, you know. So, yeah, and, you know, that's a kind of a little bit summary. It's going to be switching every month. You know, right now we're doing this kind of hit style. 
you know, February, we're looking at about moving into more, more some hypertrophy, really just kind of building up those, you know, sh show muscles, so to speak, a little bit. You know, we're going to go through strength, aerobic, maybe even mix it up with some kickboxing, some yoga. Um, yeah, yeah, shoot. There you go. I have to explain it all for you. So as far as these Tuesdays and Thursdays, at least, um, you look forward to catching up to me with those. But, you know, without further ado, we got a little bit of a workout into you here today. So, you know, we're going to be doing a little, little bit of warm up, a little bit more intense, a little bit more movement. So, you know, same thing. If this program is feeling a little bit advanced for you, I, you know, you can always go back looking at those, um, you know, our previous program um, that was on Facebook and YouTube, that body rate exercise program. But now we're going a little bit over. It's 12 o'clock. It's time to get things started. We're going to move through with a nice warm up you can follow along with me as it's a different workout title thing out here and i probably sh let me take this thing down real quick i should have done this earlier Now we are good to go. I'm grabbing my dumbbells. Same thing. I'm just going to be using, you know, maybe 10 to 15 here. You know, I have a little bit of a luxury of I have adjustable ones, which is, you know, very convenient for an exercise like this. So, you know, I might mix them out a little bit as we go, but same thing. Definitely not necessary. I'm going with those 10 to 15 pounds, you know, somewhere in that range on um, whatever is working for your fitness level. So, with that being said, we are going to get things cracking right here with a nice little warm up. So let me get the timer out. One last thing. And I promise you we're going to get a go. Oh, wrong workout. Oop. Sorry, I'm, I'm losing my. What the heck? I made a timer earlier and it's not to you. Um, all right. I promise this is the last procrastination. I know you're just talking about procrastinating in the chat, but I'm procrastinating a work over here. Start a little bit earlier. I would probably be normally still rambling during this time, so maybe that's a bonus. I started earlier. But all right, we got a good 30 minute workout here. Follow me along with the warm up. We're going to move through this one together. So you're going to need a little bit of space here for this first move. One of my all time favorite warm ups. This one is called the line. Oh, I got to bring that camera down a little bit. Sorry. You really want to get the whole ground in here um, from this. So there we go, first move, lying leg swings. You're gonna be laying down flat on your bench and your legs are gonna kind of swing like a pendulum. You're gonna drop one leg here on the other side of your body, come back to the center, and same thing, dropping out on the other side. It's gonna get the hips moving together, the low back. What the upper body is doing doesn't really matter to here. We're going for about eight on each side here. Keep, pretend like you have a low ceiling over your leg. You don't want the leg, you know, all the way up here when you're switching sides. Try to keep it low, just dropping it on the ground, coming back over. Should be feeling this in the hips a little bit, feeling it in the core, feeling it in the back. A lot of good things happen here with this stretch. Just going to get a few more reps here. Same thing as you're going to see with these warm-ups, um, we have a lot of moves that they're going to start from the ground. We're going to work our way up to a standing position. All right, done with those. Now we're going to be moving into prone swimmers. So that one, you're going to be laying here on your stomach, starting with the thumbs overhead, pointing up, and we are going to move our hands back, put those behind the back, back hands behind the back like you're getting arrested. Then we're moving back out. These ones are called prone swimmers. And again, we're going in that eight to 10 range. You know, just moving within that range of motion that feels comfortable. You know, you don't got to force for, you know, get a crazy amount of height here. 
want to be moving comfortably, getting those shoulders warmed up a little bit. You know, we've seen some standing variations of this, you know, in our program so far. Great job, everybody. Just three more reps here. And last one. All right, prone swimmers out of the way. And same thing. I'll be checking the comments in the chat. See, we got a few more. I think uh, you're messing back and forth with Adam. Um, so I just want to say also, you know, if you're seeing this workout, if something's not looking right or if it's hard to view, anything like that, please let me know. You know, this is kind of our first test run of this style. So, you know, still getting the hang of it. A little bit here. So for our next move, we're going to be doing a glute bridge. Except we're going to be going with this one very slow. in the hips, getting the glutes warmed up. Going for that 10 reps here. So the same thing, feet pretty close to the glutes. Another one from our program, we've seen this. Slide modification. Bringing the hips up to the top. I want you to roll them down very, very slowly. Trying to bring that low back to the ground until you are completely relaxed. And good work, everybody. Get a nice, slow control through the glutes. Controlling the hamstrings. Awesome job, everybody. Remember going for a 10 count here. Not going for time like we were kind of in the previous warm up. And same thing, I know some of these exercises might feel a little bit more intense than some of the warm ups in our previous program. But again, the a little bit more intense than our previous program so you know we got to prepare the body for the intensity that's coming now, a lot of times even that other program you know some of the moves you know you can do them you know at a depth and at a pace that it can kind of be like a warm-up anyways it really all depends you know on the that you are completing the exercise all right i got one more here all right, awesome job. Our next move here, this is another one, depending on what dumbbells you have, same thing, I'm using 10 pounds. You know, this is a good weight for this exercise of me. Um, you know, same thing, this one might be better with no weight at all, you know, if your dumbbells are too heavy, all depends. So you're gonna be in all fours like this, except one arm is gonna be grabbing this weight, and you're gonna have the opposite leg of the arm is gonna be out kind of like a three-point kickstand. This is kind of just for balance. And we are kind of just doing a lateral raise in this almost three-point stance. I'm just trying to raise the arm to shoulder height. Going for about eight reps here. Last one. And now I'm moving over to the other side. Same thing, I'm getting that other leg out like a kickstand now. Done with those. Not too many more. We got two more warm up moves. Want to get you all getting a little bit of sweat in here in the warm up, making sure we're getting our body fully prepared for the workout. So, our next move, last one from the ground here. We're going to be doing push ups, except the only eccentrics here. Preparing the shoulder joint, preparing the chest for the moves you got coming later. So, for the eccentric push up, you can do this from your knees, you can do it from your toes. We're not going to be doing any pushing. We're just going to be doing lowering. So here's my push-up incision. The eccentric is just lowering yourself to the ground. Then same thing. You can get up however you want. Go back on your toes. We're just working on slow and controlled movements. And again, this works great from the chest, uh, from your knees too. You can just drop it down slow, slow and controlled. And then same thing. Come back up. We're going for eight reps. So from your toes, from your knees, whatever is feeling good for you. Again, going in that 8 to 10 rep range. Again, coming down to my knees. Doesn't matter how I get up. I'm not trying to do a push up on the way up. Just working on these eccentrics. 
How's everybody feeling so far? Let me know what you think of the workout. Now we're just kind of getting in the warm up here. So I know this could be a pretty intense. You're probably like, hey, this is the warm up. What's the workout going to look like? I got faith in you all. You've all been going along with that body weight program. I think you're ready for this. It'll work. Going for my last rep here. All right, great. Great job, everybody. Just seeing what we got in the chat. Um, I definitely cannot pronounce that name. And it looks like a link. So, um, oh, I saw, I'm doing a happy face. I don't know how to swim. Hey, prone swimmers, it's a different, I'm sorry, I'm just seeing that now. I thought um, you were messaging back and forth to Adam, so I apologize that I didn't get back to So, all right, our last move, this one you see, we're doing a body weight squat to hinge combo. So, I, I'm going to be getting in the, in the frame, I promise, just like our other program, body weight squat, except we're going to come up and then go to the floor touch. So, squat to floor touch. We're going to be going six each way, so 12 total reps. Same thing with getting these patterns going. Getting ourselves warmed up. This is the last one here. So finish strong. Just kind of getting that full body coordinated together. You're going to be seeing those deadlifts. You're going to be seeing those squats in the workout today. So really want to get those patterns solidified. All right. Last hinge for me. And we are all done. Hope you're all feeling good. We're going to get ready head into the workout now again you know maybe you don't have the right dumbbells for this workout no great thing about this is that this resource again is always going to be there even if you know maybe you're just taking this word and say hey i'm going to try this in the next time i go or something like that who knows you know i just want to give everybody those options so some different styles of exercise because you know maybe your fitness goal isn't weight loss maybe you want to build muscle get stronger you name it so that's why we're doing this again sorry my face i'm looking at my casper right now so, without further ado, we're into the hit segment. I'm going to turn the heat off in here so I don't die. Feeling like a good temperature in here. Sorry. But all right, I want everybody dumbbells ready. I'm just going to adjust mine real quick. my dumbbell. I don't know. Everybody find a good weight. That's going to work intensely for you. So on this one, we're going through 30 seconds of each. There's going to be three kind of sets, and we're going to be going three rounds through each of them. So 30 seconds to move. There's nine moves. We're going to be going through them all three times. So every set you're going to see is going to be a lower, upper, or sorry, lower, core, upper, lower, core, upper, lower, core, upper. So great full body workout, hitting all the movement patterns that we can. Yeah, I'm excited for this. So stick along with me. I'm going to start up that timer. All right, so just a demo of the first move. We got dumbbell squats. I'm going to move this up just a teeny bit, I think. Dumbbell squat. I'm going to be keeping the timer close to me this time because it's just kind of hard to see from the distance I'm at now. But for our first move, we have dumbbell squats. That is not this. Dumbbell squats. I want you to take those dumbbells. We'll show you from the side. I'm kind of just resting them on my shoulder. Obviously, I'm not like just putting the weights on there. You know, elbows out in front. We don't want them out super wide. We don't want them like super low in front of us. Kind of stacked close to the head, right on top of the shoulders. It's a good position. And we're just doing regular squats, 30 seconds. And again, you know, if the squats are feel, already feeling pretty difficult with no weight, you know, you don't have to have weight for this one. You know, it's just a weight. You can add some more intensity to the workout. 
and also give us some more variations of moves, you know, that aren't completely body weight. So with that being said, we're going to get going in three, two, one, and begin. We're working together now. Find a good weight. Find a good depth. Just pretend like we're sitting in a chair and coming back up and just resting these weights on my shoulders. I'm trying to keep the elbows high. I'm going to show from the side for reference, too. Almost done. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. You got 30 seconds. The heat didn't turn off for some reason. I'm going to turn it off. All right, great job. We got 15 seconds, but our next move coming in is going to be this dead. But so this one on your back, knees up, hands up. As soon as one the program, opposite arm, opposite leg, coming back to the ground. Here we go in three, two, one, and begin. And okay, it's going to go quick. 30 seconds each move. Again, here, trying to keep that low back on the ground. When you're bringing that foot out, if it's feeling like you know, you're arching the back a little bit. It's not feeling it really in the core. You don't have to go out super far, you know, with that opposite hand, opposite leg. You know, same thing you can see right here. I'm just touching the heel down to the ground, coming back, trying to make sure I keep that good core control. And we are done with that exercise. Great job. Second move done. Moving along nice and smooth. Our next move, we got the floor press. This one's going to be pretty, going to be lying on our backs here. Dumbbells, they're not going to be too close to the body. You don't want them too far out either. I like a nice kind of 45-degree angle. You know, not too wide, not too close. We're just going to push, pretend like we're trying to punch the ceiling with those dumbbells. We're going to be going for 30 seconds. All right, we're going to three, two, one, and begin. Getting that pressing motion in. Make sure you got a good weight for these ones. Again, you know, if you're feeling like the weight's too heavy or you don't have that availability, we do have our completely body weight exercise program um, available as well. Just check that link tree in our bio. Good work, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one. And we are done. Great job with that one, everybody. That's the first rounded down believe it or not so we got our we got our dead books floor press next this one we are going hinge mountain climbers and sorry, i can't even read my own handwriting bent over road so just like our floor touches now except with the way i'm bringing them close together i'm just like i gotta pick something up off the ground except we're under resistance now going in three two one then I'll show from the side, just like we're doing the bodyweight program, letting the knees bend, letting the hips come back. Only difference is I got a little bit more weight this time. Good work, everybody. Find your pace, find your control. You got 10 more seconds. How many reps are you going to get? Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Great job with that one, everybody. Our next move, another one from the bodyweight program. Trying to make it as transferable as possible here in this first month. You know, I'm not trying to throw everybody a whole new loop. You know, if you've been following along with the program for a while, so really want to make some transferable. One of those is going to include this mountain climber. This one's a tough one. Be on your hands and feet. This is the one where you're just going to be bringing the knee up to the chest. You can go fast. You know, slow and controlled. It's all up to you. We're good, but we're gonna be going in three, two, one, and in. So I'm bringing the knee up to my chest. I'm going at my pace. I mean, you could obviously kind of sprint because they go a little bit faster, but we got a long workout ahead of us. You don't think you gotta go crazy off the bat. Great, everybody. Keep it working. Five. Four, three, two, one, 
and done so great great job everybody mountain climbers are done now we got our bent over row combo again i know you guys have seen this one in the program so same member bent over row same thing finding that hinge position so again, rowing so we're going to be doing the same thing adding some weights now we're going to three two one so i'm trying to find a nice strong position rolling those weights up to the side you're working the legs you're working the core you're working the shoulders the back all that good stuff all in one here Five, four, three, two, one. Dropping the weights down. That is it for the second round. We got for our third little set here. And we got two more times through everything after this. But we got our reverse lunge. Arguably one of the hardest movements in the program. If there's any move, I would say modify, don't use the weight for whatever. I mean, obviously that could be any of them, but Gonna take a little bit longer break with this one. So reverse lunge, stepping, just kind of taking the knee, coming on the ground. But again, a lot of lower leg stability, a lot of strength, very taxing move. This one, so I'm just trying to find something to grab onto. You know, if you got a counter, elevated surface, anything you kind of support your body weight with, great option for these. You know, again, another variation I really like. You go 15 and 15 each side. You just do isometric lunges. Same thing, you don't gonna get too deep. Maybe just kind of hold right here. Hold that lunge position. You're gonna feel like quad burning. I promise you. If you're going with the eccentrics, I'll give you a halfway point where to switch. But if not, if you're going with those reverse lunges, you're gonna be switching, you know, with every rep. So weighted or not weighted, all up to you with this one. We're gonna get going. Just grabbing my dumbbells. In five, four, three, two, one. And let's begin. Ready, set, go. Yeah, I'm working with those reverse lunges, but remember, if we have that ice, I'm gonna let you know where that halfway point is. Great job, everybody. Keep working. 15 second switch if you're going ISOs. Just dropping that knee on the ground, standing right back up. Three, two, one, and done. Great job with that, everybody. It's a tough workout. You should be huffing and puffing a little bit here. Our next move is a hollow body hold. Another one here from the body weight program. You've seen this one more. Down on our backs. And going to reaching for our toes in this position. Try to really get up high, hold it that whole time. Three, two, one, let's go. Try to hold it up 30 seconds. You got this, this is a tough one. You really gotta work for it. Really try to touch those toes, even if it's not possible. That's halfway there. Good job, everybody. Way to work. Here you go. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Hollow bodies are done. You know what that means. The last move, at least of this round, we got alternating shoulder press. I know it just says alt. I actually ran out of space um, in that one, but number nine is going to be this all thing shoulder press. Again, another one from the program, just adding some weight. Punching up to the ceiling each and every rep. Three, two, one, and let's begin. Come on, everybody. We're in this together. It's a challenging workout. Take your breaks if you need it. Pace yourself. Awesome job. You got 10 more seconds. Come on, finish strong. <laughs> oh, 
awesome, awesome job. Way to work with that one, everybody. We're going to take a full minute break here in this last one. So we're going to have a little bit of extra time here before we restart. Really catch it, brother. Get a drink if you got to. I know I can definitely use a drink. Give me one second. Still got just about 30 seconds, so don't worry. Oh, ignore that timer, I promise. You got 30 seconds, but you just can't program a double rest in there um, at certain points, which personally I think is very needed with the intensity of this workout and the duration. So believe it or not, that quick set through, only about nine minutes. You got nine exercises, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. No, it felt like a lot longer. The warm up takes up some extra time. Me rambling takes up some extra time. So we'll stop with that though. All right, 30 seconds is up. You know what that means? Back to the top. We got squats, we got dead bug, we got floor press. Join so along with me. Three, two, one. And let's go. See, I'm resting right above my shoulder height. Same thing again. Maybe you're in this set. Maybe, you know, these these are a weight that's not going to work for every, every exercise. We're still trying to make this successful, trying to make it, you know, one weight type thing. But maybe you're like, ah, oh, man, I'm, I'm beat. I can't get any more. If I can get a few more body weight. You know, that's perfectly fine, too. you got to modify. you got to adapt it for your abilities. This is a pretty intense jump up from our bodyweight program. So I see we got some comments in the chat. Woo, hydration is key. Yeah, definitely, definitely in this workout. It's a tough one, but you know, same thing. You think about it, a half hour workout this hit style can be equivalent to, you know, maybe even the intensity could be even more than an hour worth of our bodyweight program. So it's really dependent on what way you're working with all that stuff, but same thing. It's a whole different ball game with the weight hit. You get know, ready to that more aerobic based body weight program. All right, everybody, get ready. Oh, sorry, you got dead bugs in five, four, three, two, one. Remember, opposite arm, opposite leg here. Again, the further away this arm, the further away this leg, the more challenging it's going to be on that core. So, same thing, you don't got to go out all the way. Only go out as far as you feel control. If you feel like you get to a point, you're like arching your back, you're not really using the core. You know, shorten up that range of motion. Nothing wrong with that. Quality over quantity. That's what I like to think. There you go. Three, two, one. Great, great job with that one, everybody. If you're not coming in the chat, does, does where you hold the weights affect much the squat? Okay, so let me just dive into this real quick. So the only major differences. So this for right here. So this will kind of show you my shoulder. See if I'm holding the weights down here, that's a lot of pressure. The forearms are gonna really have to support that weight if it's kind of more out in front. You know, if you get more up here, kind of like on your shoulder, you can see from the side, these muscles right here, your lats, your serratus interior, much stronger than, you know, your forearm, your bicep, things like that. So you might put a little bit more pressure on the shoulder, kind of holding them lower compared to holding them here. You know, if you got one weight, I really love this variation too. You know, maybe going like this. Same thing. Thing is, sometimes holding it too low can put a little bit more stress on the shoulder. So it doesn't. I mean, it, it kind of can kind of affect the squat, but you know, my best word of advice: you know, the more upright, the more you know, flat, parallel you can get this top of the dumbbell. Um, the easier will be to kind of control uh, during that squat. But great job with that. I just pause the whole rest period a little bit so we're gonna go right back into those floor presses yeah no problem happy face don't hesitate if anybody has any questions i'd love to help but all right we got those floor presses three two one and let's begin come on punch that ceiling i was one a little bit different than those push-ups i was getting really used to those push-ups 
same muscles, just work in a little bit different way. Great, I better keep working. There, five more seconds, five, four, three, two, one. That's how you do it. Set one done, second round, set two. Come on, we got deadlifts, mountain climbers, and our bend over row. You still got 20 seconds. Remember, just like those floor touches, like how we used to bring the hands down the hips, reaching down that comfortable range on the ground. There's nothing different. Think of it the same way except with these weights. Slowly, slowly bring them, keeping them close to the body. Tell them finding my end, and I'm just standing on that. Three, two, one, and let's go. Dang, pacing is really key in this workout. You got some really tough moves, some very energy demanding moves. Again, depending on what weight you're doing, also going to make a big difference here. Good work, everybody. Come on. Five, four, eight, two, one. Done. Deadless, done. Mountains, get ready. You still got some time. But again, I mean, same thing. If you have a good wall, you can also do these from the wall. It's a little bit too challenging. It's going to be the same concept no matter where you go. Your knees to the chest. Same thing, even though I don't got a good, I could lean into this wall. The same thing, just bring the knees to the chest. You got options here, but we're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, out. Good work, everybody. Come on. Halfway down this mountain climb. I know this one's tough. Good work. Five, four, three, two. And really good job with that one, everybody. Our next move, we got our bent over rows. Remember those bent over rows. Same thing, get into a hinge position. Same thing. Keeping those weights down by the side. I usually kind of drop down to knee height. And I'm pulling those up in that row. Forearm on a three, two, one. You got to be strong through the core, strong through the legs here. Here you go, 10 seconds, come on. Then we're done. We got our last little circle. We got one more time before we cool down really get into that home stretch here again one tougher moves in the program might want to use some body weight assistance might want to drop the weight for these reverse lunges drop that knee down come right back up same thing no nope, nothing wrong grab on the railing using something for one three two one Good work, everybody. Keep working. Oh, we'll lose my balance a little bit. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Really, really great job. On with that. We got our hollow body hold for our core move. Everybody get ourselves ready. 10 seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up at the top. Follow by body hold. Reach for those toes. 
This is a tough one. Make sure you're breathing. See the time for a sec. I can't see the timer. Few seconds, I think. Yep, five, four, three, two, one. And down with those. Sorry, there's like a glare coming at the time. I couldn't see it. All right, you got that alternating shoulder press. I know what I'm saying in the workout. Punching up through the ceiling. 15 seconds till we start. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Alternating each side. You control the base here. Punch right through that ceiling. Let's see if we got a comment in the chat. I'm going to check this one second. We got a man break coming up. Come on, finish strong. 10 seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. We got a minute break here. Everybody catch a drink. Get a quick break. There are times your vid gets flaggy. Yeah, I'm be honest. I was worried about that. Um, let me know how it has been for like the entirety of the stream. Like if this is something that's kind of ruining the quality. Um, because I'm off going off a mobile spot spot hot here for my laptop um this is actually my garage i don't get wi-fi out here but it is better for the stream so um les please let me know if like this is like a recurring issue if this is you know every once in a while pretty much debating do i do my streams out here or do i go back to trying to do them inside so same thing you just want to get a little bit idea about that but for now we'll keep going with the way it's going i can't really change it now but Thank you for letting me know that, Les. I appreciate it. Still got a little bit more time left. You had a drink if you need it. All right, less than 30 seconds left, everybody. Who's going to drink? And we're back in it for the last round. Hold on one second. So I usually wouldn't. Um, it's not too bad, but yeah, I'll tell you um, if it's bad. Thank you so much, Liz. Sorry, we're taking a little bit of a b longer break here. Sorry, just a very important message I have to send real quick. Normally, this wouldn't be an option, but don't have a choice here in the matter. Just have some personal things going on. I'm sorry. Sorry, almost done. All right, sorry about that. Let's get back in the workout. Hopefully you didn't cool down too much there because we're going to get back things right here started up. Back at the top of those squats. Last round coming up here, everybody. I hope you're ready. Let's get to it. We're going in three, two, one, and begin. Drop right into those squats. Like I'm sitting in a chair and standing back up. Good work, everybody. 15 seconds go. Sorry for the longer break here. I felt myself cooling down a little bit. I just really had that taste message. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, 
One. And done. Great job with those. Next move, we got dead bugs. Everybody getting down on their back for this one. Remember, the further those arms and legs are away from the center mass, the harder this is going to be, the more challenging it's going to be. We're going in 10 seconds. Get in position. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. I just saw a notification. Thank you for liking the Instagram post, Lev. I was actually set to auto post not too long ago. <laughs> Good work, everybody. Come on, finish strong. Five, four, three, two, one. And done. Great, great job, everybody. You know what that means? Floor press last move. Yeah, 10 seconds to go, and we're getting those floor presses. Remember, punching right up to the ceiling. Going in five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. Both at that same time. Good work, everybody. Remember, you don't want the elbows out too wide. You don't want too close to the body. You're like a good 45 degree angle. Here we go. Three, two, one. And done with those. Really, really good job, everybody. All right. Two more rounds to go. Two more little sets to go. Six exercises, 30 seconds apiece. That's six minutes of exercise. Come on. I know you guys got it, didn't you? I know you got it. And you got dumbbell hinge or deadlift. Working in five, four, three, two, one. And let's work, everybody. Come on, you got this. Let's do it together. Great job, everyone. 20 seconds to go. Great right, pace. Don't pace yourself too much. It's your last time doing deadlifts. Don't leave too much in the tank here at the end. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. We did those. You know what that means. Mountain climbers next. Remember, you can go from the wall for this one. You can go from the ground. All depends on the intensity that you're looking for today. Yeah, 10 seconds that we're going to get started. Get those mountain climbers. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job, everybody. Make sure you're breathing. Bring that knee to a comfortable height. You got to take a break. There's nothing wrong with that. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Get right back into it. You got this. Here we go. Five, four. Three, two, one, done. Mountain climbers are done. You know what that means. Bend over row. Same thing. I'm going to be using dumbbells. Kind of getting into that bottom of the deadlift position right here. And those rows and we're going in five four three two one Three, 
two, one, and done. Really good job of that one. We got our last three moves here, everybody. Great, great work. Three moves, and we're cooling it down. Not too much more left. You got this. But one of those pretty challenging moves we got first. Those reverse lunges. So ditch the weights if you need to. Where are we going? Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Apparently my timer ended early. That's not right. Sorry. Three, two. Let's go for real. Dropping it down, dropping that one knee on the ground. Standing back up. Halfway there. Good work. Five, four, three, two, one. Really good job, everybody. Way to work. Very last two moves. We got our hollow body hold, and then we got those shoulder presses. Moving my dumbbells up to the side. Come on, finish strong here. This will be really don't leave anything in the tank. Hollow body holds. Get yourself ready. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. Get it up, hold, hold, hold. Come on, you got this. Last core move. 20 seconds. Come on, you're more than halfway there. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. All right, Barry, last move before the cool down. Get a drink if you need it. Coming into the home stretch. I'm tired. I hope you're tired as well. See, this is a pretty intense workout. We got here by myself. I don't care what weight you use. I don't care if you use any weight. Five, four, three, two, one. Punch through that ceiling. Come on. Come on, good work, everybody. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we are done, believe it or not. That is it. Day one in the books. Awesome, awesome job. That is not an easy workout by any means. Get yourself a quick drink, catch your breath. We're going to jump right into this cool down here. In a few seconds. Just like Blaine said, hydration is key in this workout. The weights definitely make it a bit challenging, but it feels good. Yeah, that's what it's, it's all about, Les. I'm glad you're getting a good challenge at today's workout. Same thing, that's why HIT can, you know, it can be a really effective, you know, tool, especially when you're pinched for time, you know. Same thing, believe it or not, I know we were, Again, so we're walking a little bit, took a little bit longer, but you know, really that's a half hour long workout. We've got a five minute warm up, five minute cool down. So, you know, same thing. It's like you can get that same hours worth of exercise and intensity, you know, a half hour workout. That was good. I need that after the holiday indulgence. I hear you on that happy face. Me too, for sure. I'm huffing and puffing. That was a tough workout for sure. Same thing. That's pretty similar to a type of workout I would do for myself. Um, you know, I really love training that his style, you know, just modifying the move, kind of the same thing. So I love to train, you know, lower, upper, or lower core, upper. You know, you hit even lower body, upper body, and you get that core in every set too. So good way to get all the moon patterns and train the very time. Manner. Sorry, this thing is blowing up. Um, with the, the workout time <laughs> that's already done, we're going to get in the cold. I'm just finishing to get my drink here.
And again, I know this stream says it's going for an hour. I was messing around for the first time, and I was trying to figure out the stream. But once we get started, not so bad. But for our first move here in the cool down, bringing it back to some similar moves you've seen all the time in that program. Trust me, it's not going to be all the same, but same thing. It's not broke. Don't fix it. It's an effective move. No sense taking out the program. We're going to get some of these leg swings going. See, we got another few messages in the chat. Make sure you keep getting those leg swings going. Switch sides when you're getting that 15 ish range. Um, I won't always be able to join the live streams, but I'll be watching them in the mornings. It really helps me get my day started. Now, I just love to hear stuff like that. Happy face it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like this stream is worthwhile. Same thing, I don't care if anybody watches this live or record. It doesn't really matter. But, you know, this research is going to be out forever. Maybe you're like, hey, maybe you're not at a point where you want to start hit training yet. But you're like, hey, you know, maybe if I keep sticking with that body weight program, maybe I'll be ready for this in a little bit. You know, this resource always going to be there for you guys. And then that's a great thing. <laughs> it will always be there forever. So maybe, same thing, maybe, you know, the strength portion is it for you, but maybe a year down the road, maybe like, hey, you know, maybe I kind of want to get into strength training. So we just want to get as many styles. So maybe if your workout goals change, fitness goals change, you can always go back to connected CHS as a resource. But I'm sure you got both legs with those leg swings now. Again, getting some classics in here. Getting some of these arm swings now as well. Again, this is just some moves. Dynamic stretching. You're getting a lot of things at once. Obviously, this isn't going to be our only cool down. But, you know, to me, a great way to just kind of catch your breath, get the body moving a little bit, you know, here in the cool down. All right, we got our arm swings. We got our leg swings. We're going to be moving down towards the ground. One, actually, one second. It's getting really cold in here. I'm turning the heat back on. Huh. All right, sorry about that. World's greatest stretch, but I like to call it. I don't actually know the name for it, but that's literally what I've always heard the stretch referred to as the world's greatest stretch. So, you know, which debatable if it's world's greatest stretch, but a very effective stretch nonetheless. So kind of going to be in this kneeling position right here, both hands in between. So you, I don't want you outside the leg. On both hands inside that leg that is out, and this knee can move out a little bit. That's perfectly fine. What we're really doing is we're slipping this arm right in between that leg, reach up to the ceiling, and then same thing. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Slip it right in between that leg, and we're going to be going for six on each side, so twelve total reps. Get a little bit of hip mobility, get some of that T-spine movement in here. Oh, kicking my weights. <laughs> Great job, everybody. A few more reps here. Make sure we're getting that shoulders, those hips. That T spine, a lot going on with this one. Very important. Make sure you're slipping that hand tight, tight to the body as you bring it up. All right. So, done with the world's greatest stretch. We're going to be moving into these 90 90. One of my favorite lower body stretches. The setup can be a little bit complicated. So, first thing. You gotta start like just kind of sitting in this position. And then you're gonna rotate one hip down. So main thing about this position right here, my shin, straight line. My foot right here, straight line. I want that foot and that shin make an imaginary line right through each other. So you're kind of that's what they call it 90 90s. This knee at 90 degrees, this knee at 90 degrees. And you're just gonna kind of lean over that front leg, switch over to the other side. Same thing, I'm still in 90 degrees, 90 degrees, shin in line with foot, shin in line of foot. And same thing, I'm kind of just stretching over that leg. You're kind of switching sides, 
stretching out the glute, stretching out those hips. Again, this is going to be another one we're going to go in for. Six on each side. Even this rotation, this one right here, legs in the 99s, that one, great stretch right in itself. Before you can get that lean in, and same thing, I kind of plant those hands on the ground. So it's going to be a little bit more of a controlled lean. Good work. Moving into my last few right here. All right, and our last move, you do this. Um, I'll show from the front. I'll actually show from the back. That actually might be a effective way to show this. But hand behind the head, other hand behind the back. Alternating swimmers now. So I don't, I don't know how this will look from behind, but we're going to test it out. Same thing I got. One hand behind the back, one hand behind the head. And I'm stretching them out. Don't know how effective that is. I'm seeing from the back, but just gonna get a few of these. Then we'll take some deep breaths and then we'll be all done. But really great job with today's work. I know it's a tough one. First day got into it. And you know, we'll be back here again getting that same workout in on Thursday, and then as always, it'll change every week. Keep it interesting. Still going to be in that hit style, and then every month, moving on to a new style of exercise. So, great job with that. Let's finish off. Why I break getting some deep breaths in, bringing that nervous system tone down. Going back to looking very ghostly here. But deep breath into the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. We want to focus on getting those 10 deep breaths here. And while you're doing that, I'll tell you a little bit about CCHS. I know a lot of you have already heard this, but you don't really have much to talk about here. A lot of those, t the topic of the week, those, you know, health actionable terms, we're moving those more over the social media style and even in the podcast um, with Adam Fox. So, you know, they're not going away. They're just not going to be in this type of stream content. This one's going to be here. We're strictly getting some workouts in and. Um, yeah, different styles of exercise. And, you know, one thing I also want to just put out there to you guys, you know, this is kind of new stream, all critiques, all criticism, everything good and bad about the stream. Please let us know. We're, we're doing this for you guys. We're not doing it for ourselves. We want to make this enjoyable and work for all of you. So, you know, the better we can cater it to you all, you know, the better the stream will be. So really, you know, don't hesitate. Tell me it was crap. Tell me my lighting is crap. Tell me you couldn't see me. Tell me I got to get a new camera. I know, I know. <laughs> but, no, really, though, any any comments, good or bad, really appreciate them. And, as always, really appreciate you all being here. And, yes, happy face. Thanks for asking. Podcast is actually going to be starting very, very soon. As early as Thursday, we're going to be getting the recording for it, hoping to get it posted on Friday. You know, I don't want to give out too much official, official information about that. I'm going to save that for Adam Fox. But, you know, if you're following our social medias, uh, if you're in our community groups, you'll be the first one to know. Um, we're going to be posting about that on social media. Same thing. I just don't want to give any false information um, about the stream yet, but we're going to have a regular podcast coming. We're going to be talking. And, you know, a lot of that content where we talk about the research, we talk about the topic of the week, we try to kind of cram that in, you know, with the exercise during these streams. So to kind of, you know, give a little bit of different variety and, you know, put some of these things all together in one, kind of have an education side, a fitness side. Um, you know, so we're kind of not bold. I mean, not, I don't think we're blurring the lines in the stream, but, you know, sometimes we kind of had to skim over the research in some of these streams because, you know, we had to make time for the workout. So if we can dedicate, you know, a whole podcast, that research, that information aspect, you know, of health and fitness, I think that would be great. I'm going to be bringing on some guests, some physical therapists, some coaches, all that good stuff. I'm really excited for that. And, you know, I can't wait to share that all with you guys. But, you know, I do have to go very shortly here. Um, I really appreciate you all supporting. And, you know, it was a great first day of the stream. Thank you enough. Can't appreciate the support. And, you know, really look forward to getting back after with you guys all, you know, Thursday, 12 o'clock. So thank you. Thank you again. Um, again, send your criticisms, all that stuff our way. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you like that, Les. You know, I'm very excited for it. Um, so it'll be awesome. Yeah. 
All right, everybody. Thank you. Thank you again. Les, happy face. Everybody who joined in live recorded. Can't appreciate it enough. Really love doing this. Really love, you know, helping people reach their health and fitness goals. So thank you. Thank you again. Jacob signing off, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.